Greetings and welcome uh, to Learn Strong. We are today now going to have some information from Ms. Laird about Paper Raider and the ways in which we want you to use Paper Raider. Now just to remind, when you hand in a writing assessment to me that involves an essay, you always at the end of that paper will provide me with the printout for the very first page that includes plagiarism score. Ms. Laird will explain that. And the last page that includes the actual letter score. And Ms. Laird has a sample paper she's going to walk you through to show you what this looks like. And from this point on, I want you to follow this protocol. If you've got any questions, you can always come back and look at the video again to make sure you know what you're doing. Thank you, Ms. Laird. Okay, so first of all, we're going to click on Paper Raider, go to the website. What you want to do is it already has everything up of where you start to submit your information. So you would go to your original doc and highlight your title or type it in. Then you're going to put that right here where it says title. Then you're going to go back to your document and you're just going to highlight and copy your paper. And paste it in the bigger box here. Now, if you have a citation page, for example, later on you're going to be writing papers where you're going to need to use outside sources, you definitely want to put that in the works cited box <coughs> because they're going to cross-reference that and that will affect your plagiarism score. Next, you will select the education level of the paper's author. You guys should all be 12th grade. Select the type of paper you're submitting. Always select essay because if you choose any of the rest of these, it's going to grade it differently and give you different information. So you're always going to want to select essay. You're always going to select include slower in the originality detection because this is going to give you your plagiarism score. So copy and paste your paper if you have any sources. 12th grade essay includes slower. So these are the steps you guys might want to be writing down. For those of you that have used this before, this is going to be a cakewalk for you. Always select, I have read and agreed to the terms, and then you get your report. Now what this is going to do is it's going to go through and look for spelling and grammar and this catches things that Word doesn't. So I always click up here, you want to read your report and make any changes necessary before you submit. This is a part of your editing process. So you got a 67, that's a relatively high score, I don't think I've ever seen anything go below that. That means that she probably used sources in writing this paper. So you can read and you can actually click on these various websites and it'll show you where they think she may have gotten that information. No spelling errors, grammar green, word choice. So you're looking at bad phrase score and a lot of times it will give you examples of what your bad phrases are. You're going to want to go back and adjust them. Sentence length, word usage. And then transitional word score. Right here, vocabulary score. This one is a really hard one to score high on but every time try to improve it. So you can use the vocab builder tool that they already have. I recommend if you get a lower score that you start using a thesaurus when you're writing your paper. And it gives you tips. And then it'll give you a grade. This isn't necessarily what grade you're going to get. This is just what grade paper reader would have given you. Remember, this is a computer, this is a database, this isn't a person behind it grading it. Okay, now when you want to do your printable summary report, you go down to the bottom here. This is what you want to print. So 
So, it's going to be at the bottom, on the right, printable summary report. You're going to go to print, print, page one. Okay? A lot of times this will come out as three pages. He does not need that middle page. So you're going to go and print page one. And then after you're done with that, so you're going to select page one. Then after you print that off, you're going to come down here and select print page three. Otherwise, if you do all pages, you're just going to end up with that extra second page every time and it's a waste of paper. So I understand that you have to go through the print selection twice, but this way we're saving paper and you're not printing out information that is not necessary. Questions? You can do one comma three and not have to do it twice. You can do one comma three as well. The, your printers, your printing is always going to go here. So I recommend even if you have your own laptops at home, that you print here. If you're going to have to take any notes in class here, or if you need to get on Learn Strong and watch a video or something here, you have these computers available to you. So this is what it's going to look like. You're going to get the plagiarism detection, and then at the very bottom, the third page is going to be your grade. And those are going to go to the back of your essays. Any more questions? Okay. Okay, thank you, Ms. Laird. Very valuable information for us, allowing us to be able...